Let us now take a sutram which prescribes a sixth case ethics as an exception to the fifth case ethics which would have been prescribed by 2329 which we have studied. Sutram which we are taking up now is 2330 which says for the Chada is Shashchi Atasartha Pratyayena. And the Vritti says, Etad Yoga Shashchi Syat. The sixth case affix is used following a Pratipadikam, nominal stem co occurring, used in conjunction with a word ending in an affix having the same meaning as that of the affix Atasutta. We have not studied this affix yet. It is a Taddhita Pratyayaha, introduced by the Sutram 5328, Dakshinotara Bhyam To clarify how a sixth case affix prescribed by this Sutram is a Apavadaha to the fifth case affix prescribed by 2329, the note here says, Dikshabda iti Apavadaha. The sixth case affix prescribed by this sutram is a apavadaha exception to the fifth case affix which would have been prescribed by the sutram 2329 which we have studied. 2329 says which contains the word dikshabda. Hence 2329 Describes a fifth case affix following a paratyadikam co-occurring with a word that denotes a direction. Now the affixes having the same meaning as that of atasucha are also used to denote a direction. Hence, in the absence of this sutram 2330, 2329 would have prescribed a fifth case affix following a paratipadikam which co-occurs with a word ending in an affix having the same meaning as that of atasucha because such words may also denote direction. The next note here says that the section in which Parni prescribes affixes having the same meaning as that of the affix atasucha runs from 5327 Dikshabde Bhya Saptami Panchami Prathama Bhyo Digdesha Kalesh Vastatihi down to 5341 Vibhasha Varasya. So, as a matter of fact, the first affix prescribed in this section is not Atasucha, it is actually Astati, prescribed by 5327. And why does Panini say Pratyayena? Why not Astatartha Pratyayena? A possible reason could be is that in order to make the the sutram as short as possible. Parini chose to mention atas instead of astat. Anyway, the important thing is that this section runs from 5327 down to 5341. And as you can see from 5327, it says Dig So these affixes are used to denote a direction or a location or a time. And when they are used to denote a direction, at that time 2329 would come and prescribe a fifth case affix following a pratipadikam that co occurs with the word ending in the affix atasuch or an affix having the same meaning as atasuch. But in the language, a sixth case affix is used following a pratipadikam which is in connection with a word ending in the affix atasuch or an affix in the same meaning as a tasucha. That is why this sutram has been composed. For example, Gramasya Dakshinataha. Dakshinataha is formed by adding the affix atasucha as per the sutram Dakshinotara Bhyam Atasucha 5328. The meaning is to the south of the village. As per 2330, grammar takes the sixth case affix because it is co occurring with Dakshinataha, which ends in the affix Atasucha, which here denotes a direction. Similarly, Gramasya Puraha. Puraha is formed using the affix Asi. And as per the Sutram 5339, Purva takes the substitution Pur. So we get the form puraha. Here the affix asi has been used in the same meaning as that of the affix atasucha. So it means in front of 
or to the east of the village. Puraha is formed from the Pratipadikam Purva. Similarly, Purastad is formed by adding the affix Astati and by the Sutram 5340, Purva takes the substitution Pur and we get the form Purastat. And now 2330 describes the sixth case affix following Grama which connects with Puraha or Purastat. Next example is Gramasya Upari, Gramasya Upari and Gramasya Uparishtat. Upari and Uparishtat are ready-made forms given by the Sutram 5331. Upari Uparishtat. As per the commentary, these are formed from the Pradipadikam Urdhva. Urdhva takes the substitution Upa and then the affix Ril or Rishtatil is applied to give the form Upari and Uparishtat. Anyway, the important thing right now for us is that these affixes convey the same meaning as that of the affix of the sutra. And therefore, as per the Sutram 2.3.30, a sixth case affix is used following the Pradipadikam grammar, which co-occurs with Upari or Uparishtat. So please make a note of this Sutram 2.3.30. Even though 2.3.29 mentions Dik Shabda, if that Shabdaha is formed using the affix Atasuch or any affix in the same meaning as Atasuch, then in connection with such a word, we don't use a fifth case affix, we use a sixth case affix. This is Sutram 2.3.30. Shashya Tasartha Pratyayena.